Have you heard? There's a new makeup line in town and I happen to have it right here. So stay with me and let's get into it. So if you haven't already heard, you saw it on my little thumbnail, Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez launched I think it was like two weeks ago, maybe last week. Anyways, the day it launched, I purchased it. I was so intrigued of, about the things that I read about. So I, I did grab some things that I felt like I just have to try it. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you click that little bell, you'll get notified every time we launch a video as well. I did not purchase this. This was a free gift that came with the items that I purchased, but I was very excited because I actually was gonna purchase it. And then when I saw it was a free gift, I'm like, okay, I'll try it first. I love it when they do that. So the first product I'm going to apply is the primer and it's a weightless universal gel primer enriched with the ultra fine pearls for a lit from within glow. On that note, I just got to stop because I have a video that I did on Taunt Miracle from Lancome and its catchphrase was a lit from within glow. So I have high, high hopes that I'm going to love this because I absolutely love that foundation. And if you get a chance, I'll have Ness kind of put it up above so you can click on that video because it's a phenomenal foundation as well. Very, it, it's, it's very, very lightweight. I'm going to go ahead and pump just a couple pumps out. It does have like little pearl essent glows. And by the way, I do need to tell you guys, I have my eye makeup on. Um, it's later in the day and I just didn't wear any makeup because I knew I wanted to share this. And so I didn't want to apply makeup. So I've just had my moisturizer on. So I'm going to try primer just right out of the gate. So it's been a while since I cleansed. So I am a little shiny. So I might get a little extra glow, but I think I'll be fine with it. So I went ahead and I'm going to, I mean, maybe that's even too much, but I'm going to go ahead and rub it in. And I have not watched any videos on this product on purpose because I wanted to give my true honest opinion of it and I didn't want it skewed. I will say I've been in touch with rarebeauty.com because I wanted to learn about the product and I did, uh, they had their educator and he was on story so I did watch that. I love that you can wear it right under the eye because who doesn't want to glow under your eye? And who doesn't want a primer under the eye? So I do already have moisturizer, eye cream, things like that, but this is the primer. So I'm liking already the feel of it. It's very lightweight and it does, I mean, I like what it did already. I don't know if you can see, but um, it gives kind of like an iridescent. I don't know if you can see that on my hands, but there it is. So that's pretty cool. I like that already. The next product is the foundation. It's Liquid Touch Fonde de Tant Imperceptible, maybe. It is one ounce, typical. I went ahead and chose the 230N. She has colors and kind of like a shade matcher type thing on her website. So I went ahead and did that. We came up with 230N. I'm pretty a neutral typically in my foundation. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I have not played with it at all. It does have a doe foot. And I do like that in that doe foot, there's a little hole. So you are only needing to come out with the wand one time should be sufficient for your whole application, which is nice. You don't have to dip back in. There were three different ways that they had um, said, you know how on certain websites they have a little pro tip 
area and it says different ways you can apply your foundation. One is the dot and this is actually what Selena chooses. That's what I'm gonna do because it's like a medium coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, dot my face. And the other application was obviously a little heavier so you can do stripes or you can mix it with the primer and get a very just washed, just very, very subtle coverage. So that's pretty amazing. So I'm gonna just swipe away here. I do wanna say the majority of her products, at least in her um, complexion, are a, bl a botanical blend of lotus, gardenia, and water lily. And I am really liking, I mean, this is just a very natural, very natural finish and I like it. It doesn't feel like anything. I know that I had seen, you know, like a few Instagram posts where she said, uh, you know, it should feel like your skin, it should blend right in. And I, I agree. Now around my nose, I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. So I am gonna go back in. Even though I already put it back in, you actually wouldn't have to, because again, that is so cool that they have like a little hole in the doe foot. Oh gosh, that's gonna be enough for both sides. So I'll just kind of take it and blend it out. Oh, I'm so excited you guys, because this is nice and look at the color. So there is the foundation. I really, really, really like it. Again, I haven't worn it all day, but I'm thinking I really, really like it. Feels like nothing. I don't even, it feels like nothing. And the color is spot on, I, I think. Now we're gonna do the concealer. The concealer, I did do the 210N. It's Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. It's a moisturizing, buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into skin for undetectable cake-free coverage. One thing I can appreciate, thank you, thank you, thank you, Rare Beauty, that you didn't say creaseless. Because can we all be honest? There is no such thing as a creaseless concealer. And when you find it, let me know, because I've tried many, many, many concealers and you do, you just have to touch them up and that's okay. I would rather talk and smile and have a good time and have to touch up my under eye than walk around with no expression. So I have the concealer, it's right here. Again, the doe foot is very unique. It has kind of like a point to it and it's narrow. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it. And it also holds product. So I'm going to apply just a little bit. I typically will do just in the center of my face and then bring it out. I might do one more dot here. So the reason I choose the center is that's where I have darkness and I don't put a lot of product out on the outer side because I have crow's feet. I mean, they're there. And if I put a ton of makeup out there, it's going to settle in those fine lines, which I don't want happening. So I kind of try to really lighten up the center of my face where it's not going to crease as much and then go ahead and bring it out. So all, again, the blend, that botanical blend that I was talking about really is nice. I mean, I'm liking it a lot. And I'm liking the colors, that's always scary. You know, we're in a, we're in a world right now where we can't try things on, so we're literally going by by just color. So I'm, I appreciate the brands that are really taking the time. Oh my gosh, I really, really like it. I pray that this doesn't cake up. I, it says it doesn't, so I'm hoping that it doesn't. That would be just a nice refreshing newness in my life. Concealer, if you guys have watched any of my videos, Concealer is my nemesis. Like I just, I have issues. 
And the thing is, is part of it is because I don't set with powder under my eyes because I don't want that cakey look and I want it to look nice and fresh. I mean, this looks totally natural. I love it. I would love it to wear this beautiful for 10, I would take, I would take six hours, but if it did all day, that would be even more amazing. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. The very last product that I wanted to touch on is called Blot and Glow Touch-Up Kit. Now, honestly, this is the one I'm most excited about because it's so unique. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever heard of a product combination like this in a package like this. So it's cell phone size, even smaller. It can go right into a bag and look at how adorable it is. It has blotting sheets and a powder puff that's literally pre-filled with powder. No mess. I'm sold. I, hello, obviously I am because I love it. It's a refillable compact containing oil absorbing sheets and radiant powder infused puff for easy touch up on the go. So what I love is just that. So you have the blotting sheets and they're right in here. You just pull them out like this. I don't know if I'm going to get any oil right now because I just applied my makeup, but this is for touch ups and I love that there is no powder residue on these at all. They're just blotting papers and I love it. And then you take the puff and you put your fingers in and they said to just like, to activate it. Do you see that? Do you see any powder? Do you see any powder? <laughs> Hello. Okay, well, there's supposed to be powder in here. Oh, I kind of see it. Am I not doing it right? I'm supposed to put my fingers in. Oh, there it was. I need three fingers. Okay, so beginner error. So there it is. There it comes. Can you? I hope you can see that on the camera. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to, and this is a translucent, talc-free powder just for touch-ups. I mean, I, I love it. I love it even if it's just, shoot, even if the, the product wasn't great, which I'm already thinking that it is, how awesome is this like little case? It's just so adorable. They do have refillable puffs. So the refill is $15. I didn't see, I mean, obviously who would know because the product's new. I don't know how long they last. I would have to look and see their lifespan, like what, how long the powder is supposed to last. And then the blotting sheets, it's a hundred sheets for $5. So you can refill it, keep your compact with you in your purse at all times, and you're fresh and ready to go. So what I'd like to do, there is the complexion. I just want to throw on blush and lipstick so I can wrap this up and just give my final thoughts. So I just wanted to come back and kind of wrap up the products that I used, the cost, the size. I will say they came in a box in this bag. This bag had the products inside placed really beautifully with a little letter from Selena. And it says, I wanna welcome you to Rare Beauty, a community full of life, diversity, and a place where you are celebrated for simply being you, regardless of however you look or however you love. I hope you always remember that you are beautiful and you are meant to be exactly who you are. The beauty that you carry is yours to share, and my hope is that Rare Beauty community empowers you to express yourself and embrace your uniqueness. So if you guys didn't know, she is huge on mental illness. So uh, she actually gives 1% of all proceeds back to a foundation, which is super cool. Mental illness is really something that's affecting really all of us this year has been super challenging. 
And so I love that she is bringing that to the forefront and really making it a point to be at the top of our minds. So pricing foundation is $29 for one ounce. I think that's a great price. Then you have the concealer, $19, phenomenal price. And it is, what is the ounces? 0.25 ounce for the concealer. So that is a great price for that, I feel. And then the, oh, this is the Blot and Glow. This is $26 and you have the ability again to refill the puff and the blotting papers. $5, $15 for the refill. So that to me is a phenomenal price as well because you can't get, you can't get a setting powder you can't get it for under 20 bucks, really. And again, I'm talking prestige lines. So there is the uh, Blot and Glow kit is what she calls it. Two things that I was really interested in getting and I almost got it because just there, well, actually three things that I really, really was interested in, but I, I couldn't pull the trigger because I have them. One is the liquid liner. I was very interested in that, the, the packaging, so adorable. It looks like a pen and it does have little bristles. So it is a brush that looks like a felt tip liquid liner. Um, again, I can't really get into that cause I didn't buy it, but I did look into it. I almost did when I run out of like the three that I already have, then I'll, I'll go ahead and purchase that. And then the other, I was interested in her brushes. But I gotta say, I mean, I love my Sigma brushes. I did use the flat Kabuki for my foundation and the, I love this brush, the Edge Precision brush, which when I looked um, on the website of Rare Beauty, this is, I mean, it's not the same brush because hers are pink, but uh, the angle was very, very similar. I don't know if the, the brush is exactly the same, but I'm very pleased with this one. So I did not purchase the brushes. If you're interested in any Sigma products, brushes, all the above, I do have a code below DAR20. You can always use that to get a discount if you go to Sigma. So that's the wrap of the products. They are vegan, cruelty-free, a great line, great price point great cause, all the above, great ingredients. I love that. I am going to be on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me at Rod Squad Girl. I would love it. I'm gonna kind of be doing updates as I wear this. I really, I anticipate only saying phenomenal things. I hope I don't have anything negative. Uh, I, I'm not a negative person, so I'll always find a positive out of something, but I'm really, honestly, I'm really loving it so far. So I'm going to let you go. I am so thankful that you found me here. Thanks for watching. If you could give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it and take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.